I got a brand new MacBook Pro. It is the top of the line. I paid 500 bucks for this. I know, right? $500, right? So what it was, was this woman, she was apparently going through a divorce with her husband. He ended up taking everything from her, but she had made so much money through their marriage that she had to pay him alimony. So in order to get some back for herself, she sold some of the stuff off and she decided to sell it off really cheap so that other people could benefit from her bad trauma. This is my MacBook Pro, yo. Get through this. Yeah. Okay, I might need to go get some scissors. There we go. All right. Okay, very, very well wrapped. Excellent, excellent. Now, it's really heavy. I thought, oh, I kind of thought Max were a lot, a lot, lot lighter. I'm just gonna get rid of all that. Nothing else in that box. Oh, it's really ridiculously heavy. This, it's got like dust on it. It's, this is not a map. Is an HP. Oh, oh, it's got an Apple sticker on it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I will do an unboxing video of the new MacBook Pro. I ordered this stuff from an online vendor from my country. Yeah, the vendor is right here. It's a pretty trustworthy vendor. I could order it from like Amazon or eBay but the price of this MacBook Pro is very cheap from the vendor I ordered from. Anyway, let's open this first. The only thing that bothers me is the way they package this MacBook Pro is not very professional, but the packaging is not what's important. What's important is what's inside. Let's open this. Ooh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The brand new MacBook Pro. Lovely. To be honest, the box I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's a little bit dirty, maybe from the packaging, from the shipment, and it got this little handle so you can like carry it like a case, and strangely enough, it's not wrapped in a plastic, but I think that's what they do, they check it first to make sure what's inside is the real MacBook Pro so let's open this boom MacBook what is it supposed to look like this what is it is it under under this stuff no bro it's empty what the hell? No way. Bro, I just got fucking scammed. Hey guys, welcome to my new unboxing of the Chaplin Wireless 300 megabytes velocity adapter. Mm, it's good, it's good for me. Well guys, this adapter 300 megapixel. Oh, oh, oh. in USB adapter five years of guarantee it's uh, that transfer rate ideal for smooth HD videos both streaming what let's do it I don't see the adapter but it it's oh oh man oh this the 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 pen drive for gigabytes I don't know well this is a gift I guess no, I don't know uh, let's do it with the unboxing. Oh, fuck. Okay, wait, guys, wait. This. I don't see the adapter. Okay. I don't have any shed.
am a big gamer. I love gaming and I always have. And I saw a super sweet deal on the PS4 and I had to scoop it off of eBay. Now, if you don't know, PS5 is coming out, so I think they're just knocking down the prices on the PS4. I had to scoop it. It was a delicious deal that I had to get my little fingers on. He did send me the package. Uh, it is in a shoebox, which I'm fine with. It's whatever. It's a shoebox. Uh, get my knife out and just really dig into this box, All right? It's just a little sealed on the sides with some tape, but I can get that no problem. Little schnick knack. Turn that around, a little schnick knack. So, let's open it up. All right. Whoa. All right, there must have been a mix up at the eBay guy's house. Uh, wow, there is a. Super Nintendo in here with no wires, no cords, and nothing. Um, and it is uh, like very gross looking. That is a nasty looking uh, Super Nintendo right there. Some some juice was spilt on it. Uh, I did pay 200 bucks for a PS4 uh, refurb, and it came with a few games and two controllers. And what I got instead was this busted up, disgusting looking Super Nintendo with no games, no controllers, no wires. There's literally nothing else in the box that this guy sent me. This is not what I ordered, you know what I'm saying? Look how dirty it is. Can you see that? That is just extremely dirty. Um. I've got this super box something super special inside all right no way and we found another box nothing how y'all doing this here's the king on a cold and gray chicago morning another baby child is born in the ghetto i gotta tell y'all I am very ecstatic today because I got a package in the mail today and it's a PlayStation 4. Back when I was a kid growing up in Memphis, we had stuff like pinball. That was our video game, you know, where I really dug Nintendo. I dug Mario and I like where we're going now. I really want to play Call of Duty on my PS4. Now, I noticed when video games started to really change was with the Nintendo 64. They started getting three-dimensional and whatnot. Uh, that Mario and Mario 64, you'd run them around, and GoldenEye, that James Bond game, that like nothing we've seen before. Back then, I bought two Nintendo 64s, you know? So anyway, I'm going to open this, and we're going to take a look at this, and it's going to be magnificent. See? I got it coming in from somewhere. You know, there's a little stain there. I don't know what it came from, but I don't care as long as it works. So let's take a look at this and see. Ooh, PlayStation. And you know, PlayStation's a pretty good brand. And I know they're going to come out with, a, I think, a five pretty soon. And this is a four. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Look at this. PlayStation Classic. Oh no, this is the old PlayStation and they didn't even wrap it good. Look at this, look at this. Oh, PlayStation 1, this is like the old Tomb Raider. I wanted to play Red Dead Dawn Redemption. I didn't want to play no old Term Terminator. What, what in the world? This isn't even a PlayStation classic. This here is a, like a Nintendo Mini or something. I think it's a Nintendo Mini.